I'm on a journey to be the very best, and this guy named Grayson got in my way, so I battled him. I brought my fire type deck with me, and so round through was the first against Grayson's Minin. Now I've never been in a situation where I felt even remotely threatened by a Minin. You know, they're cute, they're an evolved, and they do better with a plusle. So I kind of went in with my guard deck, and as a result, it was a bloodbath between my Growlithe and this Minin. And Minin won. But as a plus, Growlithe brought the team enough time for Ponyta to evolve, so Rapidash was my next champion. Minin was pretty beat up from Growlithe, so Rapidash was able to tie things back up between me and Grayson. I was feeling pretty good. It was a close match, but the battle was young. Then Grayson pulled out a Thunderous. Yeah. He one-shot my Rapidash, and I could tell this was going to be a problem. I sent out another Growlithe because he seemed like he was my best option, but there was good news. When I packed my bag for this adventure, I brought a card called Lysander. This card allows me to pick one of my opponent's bench Pokemon to swap with Thunduras. I chose his Plusle. I picked Plusle because I remember how badly I had been tripped up by Minin, and I wanted to get the leg up on his brother, and so I did. Growlithe thought valiantly against Plusle, who was equally as aggressive as his brother. Taking down Plusle evened me back up with Grayson again. And uh, I needed to get a lead and keep it, so that was what I was working on. Grayson sent out an Electrode. This particular Electrode had a move called Continuous Tumble. This meant Grayson could flip a coin until he got Tails. Using this move, Electro could wipe out Growlithe with a single hit. Except, Growlithe dodged him three times, and then he evolved. Arcanine destroyed Electro. We gained the lead. There was a real celebration going on over at Team Barry, but the departure of Electro meant the return of an old foe. Grayson sent out Thunduri. Arcanine was brilliant, but no match. I lost my fire pup, and we lost our lead. But all hope was not lost. I had been stockpiling energy on my Snorlax. Now Snorlax has some things going for him. He doesn't need to evolve, his attack does a minimum of 50 damage, and his ability is a real winner. Using Plump Body, all damage done to Snorlax is reduced by 30. Thunduras was no match. Snorlax was still standing. If he could pull through two more Pokemon, we would have the win, and he did. Grayson tried another mine on me, and then an Electrike, but neither of them could get the upper leg on my plump boy. Snorlax and I stood on the battleground, victorious, proud of our part, and even more proud of the fire babies that got us there. A quick trip to the Pokemon Center, and we'll be back at it again, growing, battling, and building our team. What was your favorite part of the video? Let me know in the comments, maybe give me a like and a subscribe, and then click this video.